Many people have reached out to 12 Responds saying they paid for shows that never happened. 12 News consumer reporter Sarah Grunelli is bringing those complaints right to the Attorney General. Sarah. The historic park theater used to be a place where Rhode Islanders used to like to go and catch a show, but the theater abruptly closed months ago, leaving many people who bought tickets that never happened wonder where is their money. Kelly White says she was excited to go to a musical at the Park Theater in September, but when she showed up for the show she paid for, the doors were locked. On that night, we had gotten to the theater early for parking, and it was absolutely completely dead, and I was like, wow, that's so strange. Normally, it's like very bustling. She says she was never notified that the show had been canceled and wasn't provided a refund, so she tried getting a hold of the facility. I left multiple messages, multiple emails asking when they thought the Gypsy show was going to come back. That way there I could either rebook that or just book another show. And White isn't alone. 12 Responds received these emails from people wondering where their money is, including Marie, who emailed us on Thursday saying she bought 14 tickets to a show that never happened, totaling $650. It's frustrating that you can't get your money back. The sudden closure of the theater came just before it was put up for sale in October. Mayor Ken Hopkins quickly proposed using education money to buy the theater, but he reversed course amid public criticism and has since shied away from getting involved. In a statement, Hopkins, director of communications, says, quote, as a private entity, the mayor has no authority or legal standing on matters regarding the park theater. As such, he has no further comment to provide. So what about the ticket holders? We went to Attorney General Peter Narona. Has your office had complaints about the park theater and consumers not mm -hmm. being able to get their money back after purchasing tickets yeah. for shows? Yeah, we have had some of those complaints and we've worked with those consumers and in some instances we've been able to get refunds for them. It's unclear right now how many people have tickets for shows that never happened. 12 Response reached out to the owners who said they will not be rescheduling shows. Quote, we will accept financial responsibility and issue a full refund for the show's cancellations. Please contact us. For White, she's hopeful the situation gets sorted out. Times are tough, so when you take the opportunity to purchase tickets for a night out. You expect to have that night out. The Attorney General's office says they've helped about a handful of people get their money back, including one woman who says she's getting a personalized check from one of the owners. The AG also says if you still haven't received your money, reach out to his office. In Cranston, Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.